How to Calibrate Biochemistry Analyzer? If you're working in a lab and need to ensure your biochemistry analyzer is giving you accurate results, you're in the right place. Calibrating these analyzers is a critical process that involves several steps to guarantee the reliability of your test results. First, you need to gather all the necessary materials, including the analyzer itself, calibration standards, and any required software or system checks. Make sure the analyzer is powered on and perform the initial software and system checks to ensure everything is functioning correctly. Next, select the calibration mode on your analyzer. This mode allows you to prepare and run the calibration standards. These standards are reference materials with known concentrations of analytes that help set the accuracy of the analyzer. Prepare these standards according to the manufacturer's guidelines and the specific requirements of your analyzer. Once the standards are ready, run them through the analyzer. Monitor the calibration process closely to ensure it completes without any issues. After the process is finished, check the calibration results to see if they fall within the acceptable range. If the results are not within this range, you need to identify and address any potential issues such as expired reagents, incorrect standards, or instrument errors. If everything looks good, the next step is to run quality control QC samples. These samples act as a secondary check to ensure the analyzer is providing accurate and reliable results. Running QC samples verifies that the calibration was successful and that the system is functioning correctly. In addition to the initial calibration, regular calibration is essential. The frequency of calibration depends on the manufacturer's guidelines, the specific analyzer in use, and the laboratory's protocols. Typically, calibration is performed daily, weekly, or monthly. Additional calibrations may be necessary after major maintenance, software updates, or changes in the analyzer's environment. Calibration verification is another important aspect, especially if you're using fewer than three calibrators for routine calibration. This process involves testing materials of known concentration in the same manner as patient specimens to ensure the test system accurately measures samples throughout the reportable range. This verification is usually required every six months or more frequently if indicated by the manufacturer or the laboratory. When performing calibration verification, use materials such as calibrators from a different lot, commercially available materials, or primary or secondary standards with known concentrations. Compare the results to expected values and document them. If the results show nonlinear calibration, you may need to repeat the analysis according to your laboratory's established criteria. Finally, ensure that all results are documented, reviewed, and compared to the laboratory's established criteria before approval by the laboratory director or delegated personnel. Regular record keeping and updating the calibration schedule are also crucial for maintaining the integrity and efficiency of your laboratory operations. By following these steps and adhering to best practices, you can ensure that your biochemistry analyzer is calibrated correctly, providing accurate and reliable results that are vital for patient care and laboratory operations.